hello and welcome back to another video we are going to be trying out a new supply today so for my birthday many many months ago i received a wood burning tool now i have tried one wood burning in the past it was very simple i actually think i used my soldering iron <laughs> um but i was purchased this wood burning tool from hobbycraft and I thought we would have a little go with it, see what we can come up with. I do have a reference photo of an ostrich head. That's kind of, I mean, there's no surprise there. I'm definitely always going to be doing some sort of bird or nature or something like that. But I thought it, the intricate feathers would lend itself well. I have this leftover piece of wood. I think I bought it from Surrey Timbers. It does have a crack in it. It does have a little bit of a watermark here. And it also has the pricing staining on the side so all that will need sanding off but i think all my stuff all my tools and everything are currently packed away um and so i don't have access to those so i can't really do that for this video so we are just going to do the calf the the wood burning and then i think we'll finish off the wood off camera at a later date um so let's see what's in this package so we have some instructions and we have the wood burning tool it is purple which is my favorite color um so we have the wood burning tool itself um a little stand for it here so that we can rest this in there so that it doesn't burn the table and then we have a multitude of nibs so the nib that it comes with at first is this very very pointy nib a very fine um point on that so i'm assuming we can use a lot uh, use that for a lot of detail we also have another pointy tool slightly shorter um but a slightly finer point we have this flat tool here i'm not sure what we could use that for we have a bit of a a chisel nib i would say something similar to that and then we have this wide chisel nib here as well which i've i've watched a couple of videos on wood burning and i think people use this for kind of adding shading and things like that so we can experiment and see what we can come up with but i believe these just screw on and off really really easily um so and then there's a tool under there anyway um so we can definitely try out um each of these nibs i was going to do a tester but again all my wood all my bits everything that i would usually use for testing is all packed away in boxes ready for the move and so i don't really have much to try out on so we are just going to kinesthetically learn how to do this as we create the piece of art it could go terribly wrong um but we are here to test out this supply and have some fun with it and see what we can come up with so let's get into it let's start heating this um wood burning tool up and see what we can come up with get into this wood burning video so i did think that this would be quite difficult and it was in senses um i think the lower quality wood burner was definitely a hindrance but i would say it's a really great entrance wood burner for anyone who's wanting to try this out um i'm not quite sure how much it is in hobbycraft but i can't imagine more than 10 pounds 20 pounds uh, max um but it, it is definitely um a an experience it's an experience and and you know what this is probably one of my favorite pieces of artwork i've done in a while and i will definitely be displaying this in the new studio once we've moved and um it's it turned out way better than I thought it would. So as you can see here I've got that final nib on that was already on the wood burner and I'm just actually trying to apply some of that texture. So in the reference photo there is a lot of texture obviously there's a lot of feathers and especially around the eyes there seems to be this dimpling type um, texture on the skin um let's say and that's what i was trying to do there and then i just went ahead and started to outline all my lines just so that my pencil wasn't rubbing off with my arm going over it now what i did find was this wood i was using which i believe is some sort of oak or ash or something like that please tell me in the comments below what you think it was very very textured the grain on there was very hard to get past and so a lot of the fine 
lines I was trying to do with that tip were, were just sinking into the grain and so you'd have really burnt bits where the grain sunk in and then not very burnt bits on top so I was finding it very difficult so that's why I just <laughs> don't try this at home but I used some pliers and I unscrewed the nib to really to reveal the nib underneath and um, I probably should have just turned it off waited for it to cool down and then unscrewed it but I was very impatient I wanted to you know get on I was enjoying myself um, but yeah, this nib underneath that comes with the actual, um, well, I mean, it all comes with the wood burner, but this is attached to the wood burner permanently. This was very much my favorite nib. I found that I could get really straight lines. I could get shadowing. I could get all sorts of different textures in there. And this was definitely the one that I fell back on the most. I did try another nib um, here, which is, it's the flat headed one I can't I don't know what to describe it as um but I thought that would be great for um shadowing and getting kind of like a flat burn rather than a fine burn um but I just found it just wasn't working for me so I switched back to this nib and it definitely served me a lot better in the long run um I kind of gave up on that stippling I was doing earlier around the eyes and I kind of went for a bit more of a um a flat burn with areas that were maybe a bit more burnt than others just to kind of give the texture of the feathers um, and I found it was really really helpful for creating feather lines so I know I mentioned this a lot and I, I tend to compare everything to my glass dip pen inking and I think that's because I'm probably the most uh, competent at that I find that I'm probably more skilled at that than any other medium um, for doing artwork and so I do compare everything to that quite heavily and this was very much the same it was almost like I was laying on down the ink so when I was doing the lights and shadows I was definitely treating this like a dip pen inking um, and I think that did serve me quite well I think that I achieved what it should look like and how I would probably achieve the look of this with an ink pen as well um, so I think I think all in all it turned out really nice and the I think I burnt bits more than others where it needed it um, and I left bits where it needed it although I would say I could probably have left a few more highlights I did find I struggled with the eye and I think that's because I used the wrong nibs at first or nibs that I wasn't as comfortable with let's say um, and so the eye didn't quite turn out how I wanted it I did go back in with a craft knife and I scraped away some of the burnt area um, and just kind of brought back the natural wood colour um, but like I say this wood was probably not the best wood to burn on and this tool well, especially with this lower grade uh, wood burning tool, I think if you had a bit more of a better quality, a bit higher voltage where it was getting a lot hotter, I think this wood would have been absolutely fine, mind the pun. <laughs> um, but I think, I think I achieved what I wanted to achieve considering some of the setbacks that I could have had and that's that's what I enjoy about trying out these new supplies is I'm never going to go in at the highest grade possible, I like to kind of test out a supply before I jump into it with both feet um, and so I would urge anyone wanting to try that that perhaps has a hobbycraft near them I'd, hobbycraft just a UK thing I'm not really sure um, I suggest going to get one and having a little play you can get scraps of wood really cheap this wood was from sorry timbers like I mentioned earlier which is um, like a timber they do a lot of um, kind of more exotic woods and things down in Surrey but they these types of timber places are dotted all around just have a look um, on Google Maps or something but um, this particular piece of wood was just an off cut and it was only two pounds so you can get some really good quality wood for really cheap that you can do bits of art on I've had I think I had about four pieces of wood and I've used one for my Dremel carving which I did ages ago one for my paint carving and now one for this wood burning I have one piece left but I've kind of battered it up with hammering on top of it and stuff so that might be just a scrap piece of wood <laughs> but I do think you know you can do these sorts of things cheaply you can try out a supply you can test how you like the feel of it whether you you know would like to jump into it a bit more uh, deeply and I think that's what I did here not saying that I will be buying an, a, a better wood burner I probably won't um, but I definitely will be wood burning again I really very much enjoyed this um, and I definitely think 
the subject I chose really helped as well. Um, I think choosing something wild that can be... Um, I don't know, I think you can be a bit more scratchy with your lines, like these feathers here, I wasn't really being super, super accurate, I think they they were just very much haphazardly put on, but I darkened areas that needed to be darkened, I, you know, kept areas lighter that were lighter on the reference photo, and I think you can do that a little bit more with nature, maybe if you were doing a person or something like a structure, I don't know if you would, it would lend itself as well unless you were a bit more skilled with this medium, um, let's say. Anyway, I've been waffling for 10 and almost 11 minutes now. <laughs> um, I'm just going to let you watch some more of this, um, watch kind of the, the way I burn into the wood. Um, I do recommend opening a window with this because it did put off some nice wood burning f fumes, which, you know, are fine, but I would probably open a window. <laughs> um, but yes, I enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed watching too. I'm going to stop waffling, let you watch, um, and I hope you um, like enough to like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I hope to see you in the next video. So I hope you enjoy watching, and I'll see you for now. Me.